Jeff won't get red hots because they're three bucks. What about these? Well, these are still three dollars, Jeff. Look, two forty nine. They're on sale. Do you want these? Listen, I'll pay ten dollars for a beer at a bar, but I'm not paying three dollars for five red hots. Come on. Man. Okay guys, so we have everything we need for the chocolate eclair cake. We just left Ralph's. It's always an episode every time we go there, whether it's Jeff bargaining prices and doesn't like what I grab, Lawson crying, traffic in the, um, trying to find parking, people beeping at you, the list goes on. We live in LA, people are crazy here and they annoy me all the time. Um, but we are heading home now. We're gonna make this chocolatey clear cake. It is so good, I can't wait for you guys to try it. It'll be a yummy dish for your Valentine's Day. And Jeffrey, do you have something to say? No. We became friends first. We fell in love and got married. And now we're starting a family together. So with today being Valentine's Day, I thought this recipe would be great. It's a good dessert, it's fast, it's easy, if you don't have anything planned, um, or if you forgot. You could whip this up like I mean, it's got to actually sit overnight, but if you start right now, it'll be ready by dinner time. Yeah, so hopefully you see this in the morning if you <laughs> forgot it was Valentine's Day and it'll be ready by now. You could make it for your hubby or whoever tomorrow. Exactly. So um, the ingredients are two boxes of vanilla jello, a box of graham crackers, some chocolate frosting of your Choice. liking, and obviously some milk to make the pudding. And that's it. And four cups of milk. To be exact. Exactly. Wow, so, what a stickler in the kitchen. This is one of Jordan's staples. I mean, she's got enough to count on her hand. Masacholi, this, PB&J, that's it. Eggs and tombstone pizzas. Boom! That's Jordan. Jordan's going to come out with a cookbook, so stay tuned. Yeah. All right, so, we're going to get working on this. Yeah, so You boss me. I'm, I'm your sous chef. Okay. This is good. I get to boss him around this time. So, I'm going to have you do the jello. Okay, it sounds good. So you mix that. So mix this up with four cups of yeah, milk. Yeah, four cups of milk. Aww. Hi, Dawson. And I'm making extra um, just because we're showing you guys this recipe and I don't want to run out um, because then we'd have to stop and it takes a little bit longer. So let's do that. And while Jeff's doing that, I'm going to grab our crying baby. While Jordan's taking care of Lawson, this is super easy. This is a super Jordan recipe. I actually, my mom made me this since as far back as I could remember for my birthday. She's always like, what do you want for your birthday? I'm like, just make that chocolatey care cake. All right, love, how long do I have to, what do I have to do with okay, this? Okay, so keep stirring and make sure it's not clumpy and you just have to stir because it'll start thickening up. What do you think a good like dessert song is? Um, I'm thinking I'm a little- I'm cooking pies with my baby. Oh. A little Ed Sheeran version of uh, Freddie Wap? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know if he's really cooking pies though. He might be cooking something. I think pies is code for something else. All right, so while Jeff is stirring that, I am using, normally I do a bigger um, glass, uh, whatever this thing's called, bowl. Um, so what you want to do is take your graham crackers, and they are gonna break, mine always do. I try not to eat them as I'm laying them out. You guys, it's so hard to lose weight and lose your baby weight and get motivated because I just love food so much. Why don't you stir this for a little bit because I'm breaking a sweat back here. <laughs> so Use a blender if you have one at home. Louie, come over here. And what you're going to do is you're going to lay your graham crackers like this. Okay. So just don't do anything. I'm just trying to waste time. Jeff's doing a great job doing that. Wow. Let's get these cameras rolling all the time. In I here. love how I'm instructing this. Like I'm the pro at this when it's your mom's recipe, but it is good. So what are our, what is our, what are our Valentine's Day plans? We don't have any. We're not doing anything. I'm going to cook. I'm going to make like filet mignon and make me some lobster or crab legs. We're and just going to chill. Yeah. We don't have, um, uh, 
We don't have any plans, guys. We've been together seven years and we're married almost a year. This is, and we have a baby. We don't need to go out. We don't have to say it like that. No, but we don't need, we don't have to go out and do things fancy. I don't expect you to give me a bear and a box of chocolate. Well, I would like a box of chocolates, but. <laughs> and a card. She just wants a card. So I'll get her a card. Listen, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't do flowers. I think Valentine's Day is stupid. I, seriously. I, it is. Listen, I cook every day for her. I, I think every day is Valentine's Day. Did you like that comeback? No. Yeah, it was good. I cook for her every day. Every day is Valentine's Day. We're just going to celebrate a little special with this cake and some nice food. Mm -hmm. you know, it's just, just going to be mellow. Mellow. Well, okay, if you could have a dream Valentine's Day, what would it be? A dream? A dream Valentine's Day. Oh, man. This is why all the women read these stupid books, because it is a fairy tale. Fifty Shades a of dream? Valentine's Day. Does it have to be in Los Angeles? It's your dream, baby. Okay, we fly and drop Lawson off at one of the grandparents' house. Okay. Then we hop on a plane and go to the Bahamas. Wait, is this for Valentine's Day or just any day? This Valentine's is Day. Liar. It's Valentine's okay, Day. Okay, so if next week I say we could do that, but not for Valentine's Day, you wouldn't do it? I would totally do it. Okay, so th my point is Valentine's Day is stupid. I know, but I feel like Valentine's Day is more like... What's up with these lumps? No, it's good. We no, can... it's not good. Yes, it is. It's Valentine's Day. <laughs> I don't stop short for my baby. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're doing good. Thanks. Keep going with your dream. Um. So, yeah, I would do something like that. But I feel like Valentine's Day is more for new couples. Don't for you sure. think? Listen, Valentine's Day, here, here it is. Wait, Valentine's wait. Day is for show-offs. <laughs> It's for show-offs. Oh, look it, my husband got me three dozen roses, yeah? Your relationship is not gonna work. I'm being honest with you. <laughs> and the only reason it is is because you have a lot of money to waste on three dozen roses. Listen, everyone's gonna be like, boo, boo, Jeff, we're gonna get bad comments. It's for people who think that the relationship's gonna work, they're gonna have to go over the top to do something. Me, I'm more personal. I like to take my baby out around the holiday so there's not a lot of traffic you know what I mean when we're going in a restaurant we'd have to be one of the guys yeah can I get a bottle of champagne yeah it's Valentine's Day and I love my wife so much get real well, I'm gonna cook for you that's more love it's from the heart I'm whipping up all the things over here that, don't get me started look, he's getting fired up this is this, this beating the things is getting me off no hot. Jeff I think you're wrong because I think some people they're Wives or husbands might be a little more high maintenance. Listen, if That's there's any husbands out there watching this, they're secretly inside going, my God, this guy's reading my mind. And then he's like, yeah, honey, what a dork this guy's become. No, it's real. Love. It's just a high maintenance. I'm just very low maintenance. You're very low maintenance. And That's why he likes me. Um. All right, so this is good. All you you want to make sure you have all like the clumps. There's still a here. little bit in here, but let's but be honest. But it's not gonna yeah. be perfect. I've been doing it for about five to seven minutes. I'm a little tired, but right. just for show purposes, let's get this show on the road. Okay. What you're gonna do is this is your first layer with your graham crackers. You're gonna take this pudding, and you're gonna layer your first layer. So with just the go ahead and put top. a little bit on. Uh huh. Good thing we made two boxes. Yeah. Okay. Stop. And. And then what you do, you just smooth it like this. So it's gonna look like this, okay? So then, I'm just gonna leave this spoon like this. You are gonna take your other graham crackers and you're gonna do the same thing, repeat. You're gonna lay this on top like this. And then, Jeff, come over here and pour it again just like how you did okay. on the first step. You tell me, boss. Okay, stop. So what do you think, two more layers? Yeah, so, so I kind of go by, by the... You want a little more? It doesn't need to be because we're going to do one more layer. That, just one more? It always depends on the bowl you use, how high it is or how low. Um, so this one, I always do one more, um, okay. the graham crackers, so I have this extra one, so. Jeff? More? Yep, on top. So use all this? Yep, sure, why not? And then we can lick the spoon? Yeah, lick the bowl, that's the best part. Then you're gonna cover that's it. pretty good already. So then I'm gonna take 
And while I do that, you open this and you get this stirred. So what you're gonna do is, my grandma always taught me when you open up a new thing of icing, always stir it first before using. So you do that. So then what you do, you take your icing and you glob it on. All right, guys, we are all done. This is what it looks like. That looks good. It is. And what, we ended up with three layers. Yes. Graham cracker pudding, graham cracker pudding, graham cracker chocolate. But you can do however many layers you want. Uh, we did three. It just works with this bowl. And then, um, just because it's Valentine's Day, we took... <laughs> this isn't part of the recipe. Although my mom did put cute little sayings on there, you know what I mean, for my birthday, but... Here you go, love. You take over. I'm taking over your segment. This is your segment. Finish it up. All right, so um, we got the hot tamales because Jeff didn't want to pay three bucks <laughs> for the other ones. This is no so. secret 10 cents when I was a kid. I'm not paying $3 for four hot tamales or four stupid things. So because it's Valentine's Day, we can, um, we just got red and you can decorate it if you want. Alright, so that's it. We are done. This is our heart for Valentine's Day. Just put it in the fridge and leave it overnight. Super easy, right? I'm just gonna cover it a little bit. The reason why you put it in the fridge is because you want those graham crackers to get nice and soft. And then when you go in there, mm -hmm. so good. And the icing will be really cold. We're gonna have the best Valentine's Day ever. Mm hmm. Don't get so excited. All right. And by the magic of television, 24 hours later, <laughs> boom, all the graham crackers have settled, and that's what you end up with. It's so good because it's so cold that when you eat it, oh. Let's get in there. Should we just get big pieces? You know we're gonna. Yeah. I'm supposed to go on a walk, and, and this is what <laughs> it looks like. So the graham cracker is all... so soft, so it's like cake. Oh, well, I messed that one up. That's mine. But yeah, see how soft it is? See those graham crackers got all soft? And it's probably not too fattening. You want to try it? Sure. Happy Valentine's Day, love. Happy Valentine's Day. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, Tastes good. like my childhood. Real good. And also, because it's Valentine's Day, you didn't believe that it wouldn't get you flowers, right? That I was going to go without getting you flowers, even though you see the flowers right here. <laughs> Come on, seven Yay. years. I still got flowers, I got a little class, a dozen roses and a bottle of nice champagne. That's Thank how we you. do it on Valentine's Day. Those are pretty, very pretty. Thank you. I went on a little rant yesterday, but I always come through. <laughs> Thank you. Right, Where's love. my card? Bye I'm guys, we'll see you guys next time. I'm just Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, this is so good. Let, leave your comments, let us know what you think if you make this, bye. See you next time. He gets sugar-free jello. I get fattening icing. Now we gotta figure out what we're gonna do about the toppings. Because <laughs> Jeff doesn't want to pay three bucks. <laughs> what about a bag of NMMs or something? NMMs. See that lady? She cut me off in the parking lot. Yeah, she did. She honked her horn. Do you want to pay four forty-nine or a dollar ninety-nine, Jeff? Let's splurge. Jeff will probably approve of this because they're daughter. Because <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to pay um, $3. The other ones probably will go better. But whatever. This is what we're doing for our decorating. She's always like, what do you want for your birthday? I'm like, just make that chocolatey carrot cake. What? She's like, what do you want for your birthday? I'm, I'm always like, just make that chocolatey carrot I can't say that word. As far as <laughs> chocolatey clear cake. She's like, what do you want for your birthday? I'm like, Ma, you gotta make chocolatey color cake. <laughs> Louis gonna have a nice little montage of this thing. Chocolatey Claire cake. My mom used to make it for me every single year for my birthday, right? Right. Thanks, Ma. No, we got hot tamales. Yeah, they were $1.99.
or if it's not a birthday or whatever. You're actually better at artistic than me, so why don't you do it?